the 21. He's going to squeeze up between Pope. Oh, oh there Lever. they go, right there. There he is. J.J. Yaley. Yaley in the 18. No, that's the whole field. That'll be half the field right there. They're gone. At least. Daryl, I see. Right in the middle. Come on. There's not right, a car. He had 11 cars. You're all clear. If you can keep rolling, keep Got rolling. Got one on fire down there. It goes out. But uh, Trow right in here. That's where the contact was all made. I think that's the 38 car. It is. Casey Mears. And it was on from there. We're looking at it. Here comes the 38. There's the 09. And what happened was the 38 tried to squeeze in between uh, 44 there of, of Labonte. And it got him up into uh, the 09 of Wallace. And that's when they took off. And to me, the luckiest man that we just have here is Kevin Harvick in the 21. He had just cleared this group moving back to the front. Joe Rutman sneaks through with minimal damage in the 95. Justin Labonte goes through on the bottom. Swanson had a hard lick on the right side there. Let's ride with Kenny Wallace. They got the 11 hung up there by itself. Stay down. Stay down. We're in it, boys. We're in it. Hold what you got, Kenny. Hold it up high. Hold it up high. Hold it up high. Right in the middle. Come on. All right, you're all clear. You're all clear. If you can keep rolling, keep rolling. That was all of it. Martin Truex was in the middle of this, too. The number eight. Kenny Wallace has just looked at this. These cars are wrecking all in front of him and around him. He wow. did get some right side damage because he got in the outside wall, but <laughs> it could have been a whole lot worse. You know, the best I can tell, four of our top five in points were involved in that wreck. The only one that was not involved is Clint Boyer. Right in the back the of somebody, or he can't run. Oh, here, oh, here. Clint Dang. Boyer, two. And there goes Stewart into the mud. And I don't think he's got much damage. I got it, I got it. Other than underneath, Randy, Randy LaJoy, LaJoy, the 34 car. Hang on to it, Randy. He's got mud all over his tires right now. Watch the two. I think I think it. Uh, he Third gets car. up off the bottom just a little bit right there and opens the door. Tony starts looking under him, and uh, they make contact. Sterling got a pretty hard oh. lick. Did you see LaJoy go all the way down through the grass? I mean, that's off-roading at its finest, that yellow car. He gets, gets away. But he keeps it out of trouble, I yeah. think. I think what, what happened here is Tony gets that nose. He did the same thing to Kevin Harvick earlier. He gets the nose stuck up under the back of that two car, moves him up a little bit, and opens the bottom up slightly. He looks in there, and there's no place to go. And Boyer came right back in front of him, and Stewart went for a long slide through the mud. We're like, off-roading now, fellas. We're at Talladega. It's like the mosh pit. <laughs> Now, you know, I'm looking at Tony Stewart's car going by here. Well, Sterling uh, hit the back of Tony's that's car pretty hard. from the 40 came. But it's all in the back. I got it, I got it, I got it. Keep it rolling. Watch the 34 up here. He's spinning across the track. Back on the racetrack, grabbing a gear. I don't think that car has hurt that badly. Watch Randy LaJoy. I just, I can't believe this. Of course, he is from Connecticut. You get a lot of rain and snow up there. That thing is just slip sliding away, baby. Out this into is the where he track. was lucky, though, right, right here. Yeah, he gets he doesn't have much control over it right here like he did have before. Well, you know, all those years of driving the Merritt Parkway. Time on Nemechek to four as Nemechek goes by him or tries to. Oh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Here we go again, boys. And Casey up and Mears. over goes Casey Mears. What a day. I don't think I've ever seen. Uh, I don't know. I've been here coming here for 30 years. I've never seen a day like this. That was ugly. Hamlin got turned and squeezed up into two cars on the high side, one of which was mirrors. See if uh, see if we can figure it out and watch Hamlin right in the middle row in the front. Nemechek just starts coming down, down, down. 
Looks like he's uh, trying to get down in front of, uh, of Denny Hamlin in the 20 car, and they just didn't have enough room. And that's what Hamlin was trying to explain to Casey Mears. He kept using that chopping motion right. with his right hand. Exactly. Explaining that Nemechek came down in front of him and turned him. And forced him in into uh, Casey Mears. Yeah, right. unless the replay shows us different, it definitely looked like Joe Nemechek just did not have Denny Hamlin cleared. Hamlin in the 20 just kept going down. There was nowhere else to go except into Casey Mears. See Joe up on the outside there in the 87 car. Look at the white lines. You see Joe move over. Yeah. He just was trying to, I think he thought he had him cleared. Spotter may have even told him he was clear. Boy, that 38 car, Casey Mears, it took a ride right there. Stayed on its, stayed on its lid, didn't start tumbling. That's one good thing. And the good thing, Daryl, I never saw a car hit him after he was on his roof sliding. Saw David Green involved. This is from Kevin Harvick. Harvick actually has quite a bit of damage right in the center of the nose. You all right? Yeah, if he didn't bust a radiator, they uh, might. Uh, yeah, we need a radiator, boys. I think Gotta that have answered radiator. that. From David Strimmey's car. That's amazing. And he's one of the lucky ones, Strimmy. Well, Daryl, a 737, will, of course, it's designed to take off, but it will take off at, what, 160-some miles an hour. Uh, these cars are running 185, and the roof flaps do their job to keep that car from getting way up in the air. Yeah, I mean, that all happened so fast, I don't think the roof flaps ever even had a chance. No, 71, uh, Kevin LePage involved. We did not count him as being part of this. Wow. We are under caution for the sixth time today as Clint Boyer was turned around off the front bumper of Kerry Earnhardt. I think Boyer jumped out to the outside there. I'm not sure if there was contact that caused him to do that, but uh, nonetheless. 43 car bike he just slides through he wasn't sure where to go no what he said where's he going so now all of our top five in the bush series points have had trouble here's the contact see this was a this a little earlier he finally got him and, and daryl what i noticed is Kerry was not just hitting him right in the center he was moving to the left moving to the right moving to the left sure what he was thinking was look dude your car is wrecked you know and I'm I'm faster than you are but that's not the way you get by him. well he almost went down into Justin Labonte the 44 mm -hmm. car crash, have a lot of guys front straight away no caution. Nope. Clint Boyer in the two no caution looks like he's gonna make it to pit road and we'll stay green flag racing if he can refire that car he does. Caution Yellow is, is out. out now. We'll fix that one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Take him to the garage and put out his misery. There it goes. Yeah. He was just by himself and a hard lick into the outer wall, but uh, definitely the tire problem is what caused that. You all right, buddy? Talk to me. Up till now, a quick learner. Right now, he's hanging off the back of the 98, trying to size him up. Oh, we've got a spin. Kevin LePage. LePage. No and caution yet. Nobody else. He pounds the wall and I don't drifts yeah, off caution the Caution is out now. Here's what happens to LePage. He's just in front of Randy LaJoy. Oh, Randy. Bump drafting in the trial. Yeah, that didn't look good. This looks worse. Hard in the outside wall. Very lucky another car was not involved. No. They were racing for seventh. Now, one thing I'll say about LaJoy's car is I look at that. That left front shock, that car started jumping up and down, and I think that had some effect on him getting into the back of LePage's car 71. Must have gotten some air under the nose and it started lifting the thing off the ground almost if you take a look at it. 